Hello everybody on YouTube. It's Zeldin here, the Magician Master 100, known as the Master of All Spellcasters. Well, the ban list is finally here, everyone. For all you Yu Gi Oh players out there, it's finally here. And, well, this is going to basically be my thoughts on the ban list, since I've never done this kind of thing before. So, this is going to be like my first time, so please, uh, if I do badly, please cut me some slack. So, let's begin. So, we have all four Dragon Rulers banned. Oh boy. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. About the, about the Dragon Rulers. I, I feel, you know, bad for the players who love Dragon Rulers because. The f I, look, I know the Dragon Rulers had some good effects, but they were limited to one. And look, I know Disaster plays it. I mean, it's like Konami's trying to say, Disaster Dragon! Yeah! <laughs> Stay dead already! Stay dead! Oh, it's a comb. Just to let you all know that, it's a comb. So, yeah. It's like they're trying to say, Dragon Wars, oh, not Dragon Wars, Disaster Dragon, stay dead. Stay dead. But it probably would have been better if they changed the effects to make sure they only run with that pure attribute, if you know what I mean. Yes, you know, Disaster Dragon would probably had to use. Um, some other fire dra dragons like just blaster with them, or they probably had to deal, uh, run other wind dragons or some etc. But it still would have worked. All right then. So next card, snatch steel. Thank God. Look, I think it should have stayed banned, and I'm glad it actually stayed for only one format because the fact of the matter is, you're stealing your opponent's monster. And that ain't okay. You don't steal a bro's monster like that. You don't do that kind of shit. You don't steal a bro's monster. Yes, you may be giving me 1,000 life points, but could you imagine some players playing, like, uh, Bad Reaction to Zamachi or Nurse Refugule? Look, I know players don't run those decks anymore, but there could be a possibility they could. It could be possible. So, that's all for the banned cards. The limited card, Sinister Serpent. Well, I've heard he got mm, nerfed, or niffed, whatever you put, pronounce it. Uh, tour Guide from the Underworld. Wow. I have to give Konami this one, because, you know, the whole Burning Abyss thing, the fact that they summon a uh, Tour Guide, and after that, they special summon one of their uh, Burning Abyss. And then, they, of course, they exceed summon for Dante. So I'll give him this one. I mean, so far, Tour Guide's been going through a lot. One minute, it's semi-limited. One other minute, it's been friggin' off the list or limited. It's like it's going all over the place, if you guys notice. Oh, and girls, of course. Girls play the game, too. All right. The other card that's on the list, Dragon's Ravine. Hey, there's an upside. All right, Dragon's Ravine's back, which, of course, it never deserved to be banned at all. So that means I can finally play Dragoonities. That will be one of my ne future deck updates, everyone. So keep your eyes peeled for those who, you know, like Dragon, excuse me, Dragoonities. I will be playing that, uh, planning on be building that deck. Thanks for the help of my bro, Christian Dragoon. I will leave a link to his channel in the description down below. Um, and the reason why I'm going to play, play Dragoonities because the fact of the matter is they're all wind attribute. And wind is my favorite element. Because my favorite character from Kingdom Hearts, if you notice, is named Zeldin. Because that's the name I have. So yeah. Um, anyway. Preparations of Rights. I had to understand why they had to do that, actually. Preparations of Rights had to be hit for those who play Necros or other ritual-based decks. So I had to under you have to understand why they had to hit Preparation of Rights. Hell, even Held of Perfection uses that deck like hey, that card like crazy. Uh, Sacrifice. Or Sil... Again, I'm sorry for not pronouncing that one... Uh, correctly, but hang on, let me look at a real quick look, bunny. <laughs> ah, okay. The card that works well with the what did you call those card? The quill, I think they're called. I'm sorry for not pronouncing the name right. Please. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing the name right, but yeah. 
So it's basically one of the equipped spell cards of that deck. Symbol of a heritage. Oh yeah, so basically it brings back any other, as long as you have the other copies. Now limited. Tip. Are you kidding me? Am I reading this correctly? Am I reading this correctly, everyone? Am I reading this correctly? Temple of the Kings? Temple of the Kings? I'm sorry, that's blurry, but it's saying Temple of the Kings Limited Rant mode time! Okay, then. Why do I not like Temple of the Kings? Here's an idea. It's, one, a continuous spell card. Which, of course, I run continuous spell cards myself, but, of course, that's not the point. The point is, two, the fact of the matter is, it lets you play trap cards as soon as you set them. Okay, then. I'm going to take one of my traps, bam, face it down, bring it back up. Activate it. I'm going to... Play Crush Card Vi Iris. Iris without waiting a turn. I'm going to play Bad Reaction to Samachi without waiting a turn. I'm going to play, um, for, again, uh, what's another, uh, uh continuous trap card? Huh? Uh, I'm uh, play, uh, the point is, why did you bring it back, Konami? Why? The fact of the matter is, is that... It, oh God, I could go for on for hours for this, on this whole problem of... I mean... Let's get... Before I go batshit crazy... Oh yeah, as I mentioned, Cross Card Virus is back. No, 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 no. Konami, you didn't do this. No, 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 no. Come here, everyone. Am I reading this correctly again? Exchange of the Spirit? Am I reading this correctly again? I hope I need... I'm hoping... In, Bobby, I might need glasses, everyone, because I'm hoping I'm reading this correctly. Exchange of the Spirit. Exchange of the Spirit? Are you... You've already went beyond now. You have gone beyond, Konami. You brought back Temple of the Kings, which basically you just slap a trap card and then play it be without waiting a turn. So now you're telling me you brought Chain Exchange of the Spirit back? As Christian told me, if Empty Jar is just as bad, wait till you see this deck. Oh, I've seen this deck before. I've seen it playing on you know, on YouTube, on video games, of how bad it can be. Basically, you're basically going to play your Reckless Greeds, play a lot of decks and cards that allow you to draw like crazy, play Exchange of the Spirit, get your entire deck back up, while your opponent has to mill everything, the entire deck, all probably like 30, 35, or how many, depending on how many, you know, cards your opponent's running, well, of course, it was my deck. It'd be a 40-card deck. So, basically, I draw my five cards, and, of course, all other 35 cards of my opponent, of my deck, will be milled. Opponent ends his turn. Automatic KO. Are you kidding me? You have got to be kidding me. Let's continue. Ring of Destruction. I've heard it's also got nuked. Woo! Okay, there's an upside. Skill Drain got limited. There's an upside. And Vanity Emptiness. Okay! That was good. They limited Vanity's Emptiness. Thank God! They limited it. Thank God they limited it. And now we are at the semi limited. Quillafort Scout. I guess I can see why I... 
I'm not really big on the whole Quill of Monsters. I don't really know much about them, I'll be honest with you all. But let's continue. Necros of Brionic. At first, I didn't know anything about that ritual monster until I looked him up, and now I can see why they had to limit him. I had to, I can see why they limited him. Legend of the Six Samurai Shien at two. Eh, maybe not so bad, but I'm at the same time I'm thinking to myself, oh boy. Charge of the Light Brigade. Hmm, not a bad idea actually, because it could give Light Swords a little. Giddy up and but as your Yu-Gi-Oh channel mentioned, just because you know it came back doesn't people mean people are going to go back to playing Light Swords again? Because people are obviously going to play the newer cards like Necros, Burning Abyss, and so on and so forth. People aren't going to see the what's in front of them. They rather think, screw what's in front of me. I rather play the new stuff. All right, Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. Basically, kind of boosts up other decks that obviously play level sevens. But of course, when they banded the Dragon Rose, might as well bring it back to two. No longer the list. Brother of the Fire Fist Spirit. I can see why. All baby dragons back. Um, hold on a sec. Before I get to that one. Goyo Guardian. Herald Seal of con a Convocation. Well, looks like your hair ticket deck is going to probably go up there, Christian. But it's cool they brought back Goyo Guardian, actually, to three. Now for this one. Another moment I'm going to have to take the camera again and show you guys again. Because this one definitely really ticked me off. Lone Fire Block. So at three. Uh, sorry if it's blurry, but Lone Fire Blossom at three? <laughs> what hell? As, you know, Caveman Lois said in Family Guy, what hell? There, Konami. Why did you bring back Lone Fire Blossom to three? You already put him at two. Now you're bringing him at three? Either they're trying to promote Sylvan's, or they're probably trying to pull more, more plant types. <sighs> Overall. Oh, and Gores. I can't forget Gores. Oh, and yeah, the vo hey, that voice is over there, you know, who taught me about si uh, simple ways. Of course, he should get more Pacific. I mean, seriously. Either it's a romance or not. What do you mean I missed another romance episode? What do you mean I talk, hey, forgot to talk about Cantor, hey, Lot Wedding? Look, I told you I'll do Cantor Lot Wedding when I get to it. Right now, I'm focused on other episodes. Hell, I have to focus on my evil twin right now. Long story short, go to my second channel, link in the description. Anyway. So, yeah. Gores is, meh. Okay. So, overall, fan list. I'm probably going to get a video. Hmm. First I'm going to do is... Probably like a 5 out of 10, I guess. It's okay, I guess. But the problem is, is that it kind of, you know, ticks me off that they bring back certain cards from the ban list and all that. But there's some upsides to it. There are some upsides to it, but there's a lot of cards in the the ban list that really ticked me off. Especially the Temple of the Kings, Exchange of the Spirit, Lone Fire Blossom. Yeah. So, yeah. That's my thoughts on the ban list. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, please leave a comment. Leave a like. It really helps me out. And also subscribe. And please check out my other channel. I'll leave a link in the description down below. And... All in all, I'll also leave a link for you guys to check out the hey, the panelists yourself so you can give out your thoughts, etc. Well, I might do more of this, but uh, this is my first time, you know, giving my thoughts on panelists. So, yeah, I hope you all could, you know, at least give me a chance. So, yeah, I'll catch you all in my next video.